Hey guys, Jane here, and I just wanted to give you a brief life update. I kind of mentioned it earlier when I did my uh, recent reads review that 2022 was a really hard year, and we had a lot of losses in our family, and I just wanted to take a minute to kind of let you know what was going on and that I'm hoping to have a better, more productive year. Editing Jane here. Um, yeah, you're gonna see in this video that I was like, I'm gonna get stuff back in order. Have not gotten stuff back in order. Working on it, though, 2022 was not my year, and as much as I wanted 2023 to be my year, I'm not sure it is. But, um, I did want to put this out so you guys got the updates on what was going on in our family. And I am trying to get back on YouTube. Um, I am pretty active on TikTok because that is a lot lower energy and less work to create. So if you really want my content on a regular basis, I put out more there than here. I'm trying to change that, but I'm struggling, friends. I've just kind of been sucking at this YouTube thing since 2019, the end of 2019. And I thought I was going to do better, but... It's, it's just been rough. So obviously in 2020, the thing happened and it knocked out all my creative energies and my reading energies and I work in healthcare and there just was not any energy left. 2021, I thought was going to be better. And I think initially it was, but I was still dealing with 2020 and then we had some work stuff and I was just like, oh, 2022 is going to be my year. 2022 was not my year, but while the rest of the world is getting back to normal or getting to a new normal, we just had incredible losses this year in my life. So at the beginning of the year, I think it was February of 2022, um, my dear friend, uh, a fellow writer uh, named Julia, she passed away from um, a brain tumor, a terminal brain tumor. And it was a very sudden thing. Uh, I think we found out around Thanksgiving that anything was wrong with her at all. We'd seen her prior to that at writer's meeting. And like, I remember the last time I saw her uh, at a writer's meeting was she had been saying she was struggling with Bell's palsy. Um, and, and, you know, she'd get that sometimes. It wasn't unusual. And she had Bell's palsy and you know, it was just irritating. And we really hadn't heard anything. And, and we reached out to her, was like, hey, what's going on? Because she was a leader in the writers group we were that I'm part of. And you know, somebody I saw all the time, like three, four times a month, I was hanging out with her and suddenly radio silence. And then we found out from her family that she had been, it wasn't Bell's palsy and she'd been diagnosed with a, a terminal, a terminal brain tumor. So that, that happened. And that was, that was the first very like significant loss in my life of somebody who was my dear friend, like somebody who I was around a lot and who I had like an active relationship with who I was going to miss. And I have missed her terribly. Obviously, that's not the first death in my life or the first loss I've ever had, but it was it was a different kind of loss for me because the people I'd lost before were relatives, but they were relatives I didn't see on any kind of regular basis. And to lose somebody who was my friend who I was hanging out with several times a month was, it, it's still very, very, very difficult. So that was early this year. Um golly, everything happened fast after that. Um, during the summer, my aunt started to have mental health issues. She disappeared. She disappeared and was found in the woods. They were able to, I don't, I'm not entirely sure 
what condition she was in when they found her, but she did initially recover. But um, then she had another attempt and was hospitalized. And after, after getting out of the hospital, she um, became terminally sad and we lost her. And she was an aunt that I was close to when I was a child. I haven't seen her a lot as an adult, but it was still a really heavy blow. Mental health things happen and run in my families, and we have lost another family member before to terminal sadness. And we also have two family members who struggle with things that could lead to terminal sadness, but it was it was a, a hefty blow. Um, the other two losses were a lot smaller, but just combined with the other losses, they were just just made the year really rough. Um, one of those losses was an animal. My boyfriend's brother has had this little dog, really cute, Havanese. They adopted her two years ago. Um, we didn't see her all the time, but I loved when we would see her. Her name was Luna, and we, I just, she was such a good, good little dog. She very suddenly passed away from a heart defect. Um, it was very tragic and upsetting for the family. They came home, she went to greet them, and went down and never got back up. So that animals in our family are family, so it was very devastating for us to lose her. And, you know, especially she wasn't an older dog, it wasn't something we were expecting. It was an incredible The other loss we had was my childhood babysitter. Uh, obviously, she's an older woman now. She was in her late 60s, early 70s, and she had been in declining health. And I, I, I wasn't close to her anymore, but, you know, obviously I had had a very strong relationship with her as a child. I'd grown up with her. She went to the same church my parents did. And even as an adult, I saw her now and then. I remember very specifically when I was pregnant with my daughters, I had gone to her house and she gave me like a stack of books to read um, that she'd finished. They were mysteries. And she said, you know, I know you love books. And, you know, when you're in the hospital and stuff, here's some stuff. And in the early days when there's not much you can do, you can read these books type thing. And it was, it was just really sad that we lost her as well. Um, she had been having, as I said, health problems, but my understanding was it was the thing from 2020 that YouTube doesn't like us to say that ultimately did her in. She had been hospitalized for something else and gone to a nursing home and contracted the thing there. And, and, uh, yeah. So, 2022 was a sucky year for us, and I'm still reeling from it emotionally. Now, it was also growth year. I got back into writing, did a lot of good things, hoping that 2023 is a good year also and does a lot of things, but, you know, um, I haven't been on social media. I haven't been on YouTube. I haven't made videos almost at all for a while, and I keep saying I'm going to get back to it, and maybe I will. I want to. I love you guys. I want to talk in the book community. I want to review books. I want to share my opinions. I watch a ton of booktube. I want to be part of this community, but I have to do it in a healthy way and when I have the strength and energy to do it. And 2022 was not a year that I had the strength and energy to do it. So we're going to try again. <laughs> I feel like I do this at the, end, at the beginning of every year. We're going to do better. In one year, we will. Um, I don't want to set any goals because I don't know what the year holds and I don't know what I'll be capable of. But I very much appreciate everybody who stays subscribed to my channel, still watches my book reviews, my video reviews, my video game reviews, and still enjoys what I put out, even though I don't always have the ability to put out very much. All right, guys, this has been Jane.
I love y'all and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.